All right, so I'm just showing people uh, Lair, one of the only PS3 games that actually plays on the PS Vita. Mind you, it also plays on the PSP. So, you know, it's not it's really not much different from the PS Vita. Uh, Sony kind of did a little bit of a lie and said that every PSP, I mean, every PS3 game would be playable. They also said every PSP game would be playable on the PS Vita, which it's not. But more PSP games can play a lot more on the Vita than PS3 games, and, um, that's kind of a bad lie, and it sucks, and, uh, it sucks for the people that really wanted that feature. So, we're going to connect to our PS3 and play one of the only PS3 games. This is Lair. Please assign a controller port to port 1. Well, that would be me, right here. This controller port. Whatever. I don't know. Um... So, here we are, um, with Lair, and, um, I don't want to do training, Day of Terror, and, um, so I'll show you playing it, playing, it's very pixelated, blurry, doesn't look very good, and it, this game was not received well, mostly because of the controls, but... You know, they did update the controls, and some people still don't like it. But I I, pref I like it. It's kind of like Panzer Dragon. Kind of updated. Um, kind of very low frame rate, but um, this game is one of the few games that can be played without modifying your PS3. For me, I can't do that because I'm too updated. So, I'm shit out of luck there. Would have been nice um, if there... If, if Sony's not going to give people, let me just raise the volume here so you can hear this. But if Sony actually did what they said they were going to do, that would have been nice. Um, but they didn't, unfortunately. Okay. So, mount the dragon. Uh, uh, mount the dragon. But yeah, they also lied about... Um, now this controls, these controls work fully with uh, the buttons and the D-pad and all that, so... Not on the PS3 even with the updated controls. That's wonderful, the city's burning, I love it. So, yeah, this, um... I'd like to get this to be a little lighter. There we go. Pull it back a little bit. Oh, no, it's not doing it right. Whatever. But yeah... Sony kind of did a little bit of a few lies. They said they were going to, uh, that 3G would allow you to play online multiplayer, which you have to have the Wi Fi to do that. So 3G only allows you to use mail and all that crap. So, alright, so now we're going to try playing this. Okay, so. So the right trigger is, um,. You know, a bit of a boost, I think. Uh, let me look at the controls here. For a, uh, not quite sure that the controls um, show properly with the uh, the PS Vita. Where am I? Analog flight control off. It's actually on, but it doesn't work any other way. Huh, yeah, it doesn't show right. But uh, when you're in-game with this, um, I should have kept it on pause. <laughs> when you're in-game, you just press the screen, or touch the screen, if you can. And it brings up this menu here, and there's uh, the options. Um, image quality is plus one. That's the highest you can go. Um, that's another thing. With the PSP, you can't really go that high without having bad lag. So that's only the only thing I've... Um, scene. So here's the assign buttons. It doesn't really tell you much. Um, you can use the PS Vita buttons in the same way as the wireless controller buttons on the PS Vita, but that's it's different though. So it's not telling it to you properly, so you have to guess, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and finish this. Oh, I keep doing the wrong thing. I want to use the analog stick, but you can't. Um, when I lock on, it's weird, this button locks on normally, but 
Yes, yeah, so there we go. You can also hover above the ships and blast them with fire like this. And then you can do that. You know, that seems to be more deadly if you shoot fire at them than if you breathe it like that. So, yeah. Now there's an arrow there, that red arrow. It's, uh, it's got to be yellow to show you to get where you're going or whatever. This, is, this video is not really to show you how good I am because I'm not. I haven't played this game in ages. But I like it. It's kind of cool. Boom. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this to blow up by... There you go. So, yeah, it's, it's a fun game, but, yeah, it plays on the uh, PSP and the PS Vita. So, really, remote play is no more useful on the PS Vita than it really is on the PSP, unless you have a hacked... PS3, and even some of the games don't play, even then, like Crisis 2 doesn't play properly, it plays, but it's very choppy and stuff, I've seen videos of it, and uh, Killzone 3, you know, like, seems like the bigger, you know, the more graphically powerful games kind of, kind of don't really work well. I don't know. What the hell? I keep going the wrong way. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like this game. It's fun. It's just basically like a mixture of an RPG and something else. I don't remember. <laughs> like a flight sim and an RPG. Um, so yeah, and then there's ground levels where you're walking around you gotta be on the ground and stuff like that. And you are fighting the Mokai. Or the Mocha. Mocha chocolate chip something. Okay. So I'm not really playing properly, but, uh. You know. I'm playing a little sedated. That's more like it. What's more like it? I'm playing improperly. Yeah, but it's just to show you the game on the uh, system here and it's a little dark seeing it through the viewfinder it looks a little dark but it looks a little dark on the screen too uh, I don't know that it's any different <laughs> but yeah that's just to show you the uh, PS3 games playing on uh, on a uh, PS Vita without wow that was it okay well, we'll play a little more until the um, until the uh, until I run out of foot um, out of space on the SD card, and then I'll just shut up. Hmm. Move, girl. Our men need us. The hell? Maybe I won't shut up. Yep, oh, little lag over there. 